how limited visibility is actually in the banking sector right now on a whole slew of issues, not least what the impact of the ongoing war in Ukraine will be, or indeed what the risks to global growth now that we see from inflation and tighter interest rates means for the broader banking industry. Good morning. Yes, that, that's absolutely right. In the near term, there's a, a great deal of uncertainty in the industry. Um, and that's both geopolitical um, uncertainty and volatility uh, emerging from the war in Ukraine, but, but also the broader macro recovery is, is challenging and the effects are, are felt quite differently across different institutions. So we do think that this year will be somewhat choppy and uncertain, uh, but we think the factors are in place for a, a broader structural uh, recovery and growth out to 2024. And I think it's worth remembering this is an industry that's much more resilient than it was before the financial crisis. It's much better diversified. And even though there may be challenges in parts of the business, such as investment banking, where we've seen deal flow down in the first quarter, that can be offset by trading volatility and benefits in that part of the business uh, and, and rate rises feeding through uh, in other parts of the business. It's clearly better capitalised and the risks of uh, any systemic problems emerging from the global banking sector are much less, I agree with you, than they were previously. But it does seem as though many of these issues are going to be distractions for management teams. You know, they've all got to worry now about what their exposure to Russia, Ukraine may be. They've all got to worry here about um, further legal risks related to breaches of sanctions and so forth. Does that perhaps take some of the focus away from what we thought would happen this year, where we'd see banks being very, very focused on ESG issues and how they might increasingly bring fintech to bear on adjusting their models? Well, I don't think it's changed the focus on ESG or market structure change, but it's certainly added a, a new set of issues to grapple with at the same time. In many respects, you could argue that some of the challenges that, that, that we're seeing actually accelerate uh, the, the, the need for the climate transition. Uh, but it's certainly a very challenging operating environment. And as we say in the report, we think the gap between the winners and losers uh, in this complex operating environment will be even greater as a result. And it puts a real focus on management execution. Think about geographies here when it comes to the banks because some of them are very large players op operate across various different regions from developed markets to emerging markets and we know there's been a lot of uh, changes in terms of banks selling assets where they do not have market share to ensure they, they do have adequate returns. Do we need to think about the banks in terms of their operations and where they're based now as we talk about rates normalizing as well? Yes, I, I think geography certainly plays a, a large effect here both in terms of exposure to uh, rising rates at different paces, uh, uh, as well as the underlying economics and economic health, including uh, e exit from uh, COVID lockdown um, situations. So the, the recovery will be uneven, and we're seeing that coming through the results uh, playing through. Certainly, European banks um, have had to take uh, re revise many of their plans in light of uh, in light of the situation uh, in the Ukraine, and we're seeing different uh, interest rate outlooks uh, playing through there compared to the US.